Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a special kind of LEGO video. So normally in most videos I film them in my LEGO room, but today as you can see it's going to be a bit different because I'm actually at my pool. The reason being is because here with me today I have a bunch of different LEGO boats and I'm actually going to throw them in the pool. Well not throw them, but I'm going to put them in the pool to see if they actually float or to see if they sink to the very bottom of the pool. You'll have to stay tuned to find out the results. Before we get into the video, please leave your comments down below right now of what you think the boats will do. What's your prediction? Do you think they're going to sink? Do you think they're going to float? Let me know by commenting down below. So I'm actually going to go in order here from the smallest boat to the largest boat. So the first boat that we're going to test out here is this police boat. As you can see, it's so small, it's almost like a jet ski. But anyways, let's just throw it in the water to see if it floats or if it sinks. I'm going to set it in nice and gently. So apparently it does float as long as it's floating on this side and no minifigure actually wants to stand above it because it doesn't look like that boat's going to allow that to work out. The next boat here is this Coast Guard boat. And there actually is a minifigure on this one, so let's hope it's not like the police boat and floats upside down, because that would be no good for this poor little minifigure. So as you can see, there's at least some improvement with the Coast Guard boat other than the police boat, because this one at least floats on its side. So next up we have this fire boat from the Fire Polybag. My guess is this one's not going to float because it doesn't look like there's any flotation device on it whatsoever. But that's what this test video is for. So surprise, surprise, this boat actually floats better than any of the other Lego boats that I have actually tested in this video so far. Who would have thought? Next up, of course, is this red speedboat. Let's throw it in. I don't know. Will it float? Will it sink? So it looks like a sinker, as you can see it looks like it's starting to float, but it's slowly filling up with water and I imagine it will be a matter of minutes before it is completely submerged underwater. Next up we have this blue bloat. And it really does look like it could float all the way, there are no holes or anything on the bottom, but time will tell. And it appears it is one of the very few LEGO boats that can actually float, so that's pretty cool. There you see, it's completely floating away from me. Now we're going to check out this racing boat. Again, I think this boat will completely float just because the way the bottom is and how it's one big LEGO piece. And I guess I am right, as you can see it is completely floating away with the wind like some of the other boats have gone. It's traveling and it's completely staying upright, so that's always good. It's not sinking or it's floating there pretty good. Next up here we have the fire boat. This is the second last boat, and I think it will float, just because it. the other boat from the set did float, the blue boat, as you saw. And it just looks like this one, no holes or anything on the bottom, all plastic, it looks promising. And again, just like some of the other boats, the wind has completely taken it away because this boat does float, and it floats very nicely. Alright, so the last boat we're going to take a look at today is the ferry. Now, I have no hope for this boat whatsoever. Even though it's supposed to float on water and carry cars, I have a feeling this one will just sink right to the bottom and ruin all the stickers I put on it. But only time will tell. Boat's going in the water. It's in. It's in. And it's staying afloat. Just kidding, it is completely sinking. It's not sinking actually as fast as I thought it might sink. I think part of the boat is actually staying afloat because it's heavier on this end, lighter on this end, you know, that's how science or something like that works. The car is pretty much staying afloat because it's got rubber tires. I'll move the car out of the way. So yeah, the car is actually staying afloat pretty well. The ferry... The ferry is actually floating. I thought it might just completely sink to the bottom. But... 
it floats upside down really well. I mean, if that's all you want it for, to the fairy to float upside down. And I think this is the perfect fairy for you. Not gonna lie, because it is, you know, like a $50 set, I wish LEGO would have actually made it so it could float, or at least included pieces so it could float in water. I think that would have added a lot of cool play features. But unfortunately, the only way to get this boat to float is to float it upside down. So now that you've seen all of the boats, whether they float or they just kind of float sideways or backwards or upside down, let me know down below if your predictions were correct. I know some of mine were, actually most of mine were, but I was a cup pretty surprised about how well some of the other boats do float, especially the blue one here. Thanks everybody so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like on the video or a comment letting me know you liked it so you want to see more videos like this in the future. To the people who think this was like a waste of a video or I shouldn't have done it, you know what, I enjoyed making it, I liked the idea, and it was a really fun video to make, edit, and do stuff like that. So you can just like leave. Goodbye. But I really enjoyed this video and I hope you did too. Thanks everybody so much for watching and have a great day.